Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna be playing Domino. I think I'll play a couple of episodes of this, and I think you guys should really get this game. It's a, uh, it's a Roman Empire, uh, 8-bit style, uh, gladiatorial fighting game. And it's, it's really sweet. Uh, if you couldn't hear, the music is pretty awesome. I've been, uh, loving that for the past couple of days, and I'll start a new game here. Um... So, the sun is setting on the, the once mighty Roman Empire, violent rebellion erupts in the fair territories while political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing that the citizens will revolt and attempt to re-establish the Republic, the Emperor has decreed that there shall be an epic year, a year of epic gladiatorial fighting or games culminating in the greatest championship the Empire has ever seen, affording, affording unimaginable rewards of coin and glory. The Emperor hopes to revitalize commerce and establish the rule of law once again, but Rome is, dis is disintegrating in its clench in his clenched fist. The next local games are scheduled soon, and you aim to win. All right. Now I'll just introduce you guys to the game here. Um, so, as the heresies to a once mighty Ludus in the in the heart of the Roman countryside, you see an opportunity to ride this wave of revitalized interest in bloodshed to the ends of the empire. To burn out in a fabulous spectacle of violence and greed. Having driven your family's ludus into the ground with your poor business decisions and lack of integrity, your father bequeaths you to you to you ownership of the ludus and his paltry holdings. On the dusty road yeah. On the dusty road home, you assume the mantle of the Lanista and Domina. A woman looks at you knowingly and proclaims, They'll never let you win. You try to put the old woman's icy stare out of your mind as your family begrudgingly surveys their new home and your father slowly fades towards it, his inevitable death. And so here are my guys. I'm just going to put them up here. And... Before I get my trainer dude, and you'll find him here in a second, I'm gonna start training these guys because time management is a big part of this game. So that's him on the left. A large man with a whip has presented himself at your villa and requests your your ear. I see that there are games scheduled in a few days, and I have heard that you plan to attend. I served your father for many years, but when he fell ill and the Ludus returned to ruin, I had to find my daily bread elsewhere. I would be honored to return to the Ludus and train your men for this battle. Without me, these men will slowly be slowly will be slow and stupid lambs to the slaughter. I don't know if you noticed, but I can't re really uh, read too much. And okay, now we're gonna have a battle. Now oh, he's a basic Pujika, Pugita, and ooh, okay, I got some good guys right off the bat. He is a he's a glad he is. Oh wow, okay. Uh, now I, I can't control the guys right now because you have to unlock that and that's really well in the tier. God, I love the music to this game. Yeah, I'm okay. Alright, there we go. That was a lot of coin the first time, I got lucky. I got uh, four slaves and 20 wine. I have them down there. I'm going to hit to enable automatic training and humility, which is uh, me being able to surrender in battle. An old man enters your villa uninvited. He appears to be, uh, to be a high-placed government official. He introduces himself. I am the magistrate. I, will, I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. Your prowess as a Lanista is evident, though you may be lacking in experience. Your father was a good man, and I am sorry to see his business and health failing. If you are in search of new slaves to turn into gladiators, I can provide you with, with agreeable stock. The smell of wine on his dusty old fuck's breath is off-putting. And, okay, and then now I can upgrade my guys. Let's see, he's a basic Pujita, and I can go wooden gladius, and I can go to a normal gladius. And these are, you just upgrade the armor. Uh, when I initially got the game, I thought it was like, I choose out of like, from the market. Shoot. Now here you can buy food, water, and wine. And each of those, uh, you use wine to help your relations with the magistrate and the legate. And you'll see him here in a minute. 
and then you can buy those and your and your employees and your gladiators each consume food and water per day and I have a lot of coin right now so Alright, he's healing right now, and my next battle is in one day, and there's 358 days left in the year. Oh shoot. Now I'm gonna choose my other guy. Yeah, there we go. I got some pretty good guys initially. You each get uh, one slave without anything and two slaves that have equipment. Yeah, four more slaves, and I'm gonna sell the ones that I don't look too good. I mainly look at their uh, their health. That one isn't too bad. I think I'll sell him because I have a lot. Alright, now this is the Lee Gate. A heavily armed soldier barges into your Lutus unannounced. His armor is adorned with with very fine detail. You gather that he's an important person by the way he strikes fear into your slaves. I'm the Lee Gate, commander of the military detachment stationed nearby. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. But if you want to win more bouts in the arena, you'll need better train you need better trains warder warriors and I have many to spare. My warriors may not be as agreeable may not be as agreeable and cheap as a magistrate's useless wares. But you at least know how how to wield the <laughs> I'm sorry, but they at least know how to wield a sword. A man demands wine as his as he reclines on your balcony. And now here you can send wine to them each time it doubles. So like if you do something that pisses them off and it will go down, it's like it, it gets to be a lot. It gets to add up. Now I can just do that. It just moves up. I don't think I'll try to do it too much because then I can like send up to a lot. And then the more they like you, they may give you easier matches or they may give you more money. And I have, have a lot of money right now. And now I can hire employees. Now this is very important. Uh, the architect... He helps. He builds like a polis, which is like a, just a wooden dummy in front of him. The Faber, which is the the blacksmith, he's really good. And as I was looking to all these different ones, this one he provides healing training and morale boosts. And I'm wondering if the uh, the, the Sacerdos is better than the uh, Medicus because because then the Medicus does heal. I don't know if it's if it's better than this guy's, but then this guy costs. Like, you know, three times more. I think I'm gonna do that since I have a lot of money. Now I'm gonna start doing this. automatic upgrade. I'm gonna build a Paulus, and I'm gonna do mind control, which is me being able to control them. And now here are the three different uh, classes there's the Mermillo, there's the Thrix, and the Retarius. Retiarius, rather. And, um,. I can have him do it. Yeah, I'll do that. Wait, shoot. This guy was here first, I believe. Let's just do him. I'm just gonna reject it for now. Oh, shoot, I pissed him off. Okay, um, yeah. I'm going to start upgrading the guys. I don't want to upgrade him too much because now he's a uh, basic Kwama. Uh, he basically has the best I can do for him right now. And that, that actually is pretty good stuff, though.
Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do it that much. Okay. Just gonna give him a gladius. Come on. Alright. Okay. Alright, because then the, the Medicus, he has automatic healing. So I'm supposing that if I get all these blessings... Then yeah, I'll do that. Architect, I'm gonna do another Paulus. Yeah, well... Jeez, that costs a lot of resources. And I can also attend a pit fight, which is just a random battle against someone, but then you don't get to see their stats, or their equipment, or their, like, attack level. You just basically see what you, like, look at what they have on them. Like, you just get to see your guy, I'll show you here, like that. This guy is a, uh, he's the, uh, he's Retarius, Retiarius. And you see, he doesn't have too much good stuff, he hasn't won any battles, and... Says, uh, details are hazy in the low lights of this dank pit. <laughs> and I think I'll, uh, use Valens against him. I don't know if my... Yeah, I don't have mind control yet. He should win, though. He's attack 52. Yeah, I'll win. I, 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 I swear, if I die... Jeez, okay, okay, okay. I might have to... Okay, no! He better not die. Okay, he's dead. <sighs> that's upsetting. That's... That's upsetting. Alright. <laughs> Your father calls you. You show great promise as a Lenista. You are a natural. No doubt you seek glory in Rome. In order to qualify for the great championship games, you'll need to win some regional championships. This map shows the local heroes, some of them at some of them massive behemoths. For each region, I, uh, I've estimated the cost of attending each of those games. But be aware that while the rewards are handsome, it will cost a great deal of resources to travel to these games. When you have achieved a victory at a, in a regional championship, I will tell you of Jupiter's blessings. Now, that's a map of the games. Uh, that one, like, yeah, they're pretty, they're difficult. <sighs> okay. I think I might end it here, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode. Okay, um... I'm not going to lose to one of these battles again. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.